welcome to another Retro Game Corner. Today we will be reviewing Merlin by Parker Brothers. Thanks, Jillian. Um, just a little info on Merlin. Merlin is a uh, was known as Merlin Electronic Wizard. It was basically a handheld game made by Parker Brothers that came out in 1978. Merlin is notable as one of the earliest and most popular handheld games selling over 5 million units during its initial run. A version of the game has been recently re-released by Milton Bradley Company. Merlin was created by Bob Doyle, who was a Harvard PhD and inventor who had previously worked with NASA. Merlin took the form of a rectangular device about 8 inches long and 3 inches wide. The play area of the game consisted of a matrix of 11 buttons. Each button contained a red LED. The array was encased in a red plastic housing bearing a slight resemblance to an overgrown touchstone telephone. It does look like what, an old one. Um, basically, Merlin's simple array of buttons and lights supported play of six different games, some of which could be played against the computer or against another person. The list of games are Tic-Tac-Toe, Music Machine, Echo, which is a game similar to Simon, Blackjack 13, Magic Square, which is a pattern game similar to Lights Out, and Mindbender, a game similar to Mastermind. Um, in 1978, Merlin um, and Milton Bradley Simon shared the cover of the Christmas issue of Newsweek. Okay, there you have it, a little background information on Merlin. Um, I have this complete in box with instructions, it's in mint condition. And right now we're going to do um, one of the games. Here, let's show the instruction booklet. It tells you the different games. The first game is Tic-Tac-Toe. Actually, Cameron, you had it upside down. You had the French version here. Let's go to the front of it. There we go. There. Tic-Tac-Toe here. Okay, and I'm going to take the little Merlin controller game. I'm going to turn it on. Is it on already, Kim? No. I turned it off so they could see the okay. video begin. You basically, um, focus on this game. Put it down, it flashes. So to select a game, uh, we're going to play tic-tac-toe. You're going to hit one, which puts it in tic-tac-toe mode. And I'm going to be playing against the computer. The computer is flashing, and I will be non-flashing. So let's start tic-tac-toe. I'm going to choose the middle. Now Merlin's going to go, so I'm going to hit Merlin. Okay, now I'm going to go, so I'll go here, and Merlin's going to go, okay, and then I'll go here, and Merlin will go, and then I'll go, and who won? I did, right? I got three in a row. Aren't you the flashing one? No, I'm the uh, non-flashing one. Computer is. So, right there, I beat the computer, and again, there's different skill levels, but um, that's just a basic overview of tic tac toe. So, let's go new game, reset it, let's choose another game, Cam. Let's look in the book and try another one. And it can play music. Um, you can press new game. So, we're going to press new game, number two. It puts it in music mode. Let me see. Let's do a song over there. Uh, Beethoven's Ninth, let's say. So you hit each each one is labeled one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So uh, four, four, five, six, six, five. Four, four, five. Six, six, five. Six, six, five. Four, three, two. Four, three, two. Two, three, four. Four, three, three. Anyway, you get the picture. That that was playing a little bit of Beethoven's Night. So it's got a music machine on it. That's another game. And hit flip the page cam. Let's see what else. There's a game called Echo, which is I believe like a Simon. So what we press new game and hit three. And then what does it say? Um both the zero and ten lights are in blah blah blah. As Merlin plays his tune, listen carefully. So how do you get him to play? To select a game on average, I press number five. Okay. Then... You have to repeat the tune that Merlin does. Then press Merlin. Oh, boy. Do... What? Oh. What? Let's 
try it again. I'm trying to go doot doot. It yeah, might have made okay. the sound. All right, here goes Marlon again. Do. Oh, well, let's so try it again. Do. Oops. I was never good at signing it anyways. Let's try it again. Ready? Everyone listen carefully. It yeah, I'm good at this. You got it. Good job. Thanks. Yeah. So that's basically Simon. You're basically uh, replicating what Merlin does. We'll do it one more time. Okay. So that's just the basic thing. And obviously it, it, it continues on and on and on. So that's Echo. All right. Turn the page cam. Let's see what else we got. It's another game. Blackjack 13, to acquire the higher hand of 13 or less. Press new game, number four. Okay, and then what do we got? We got a one and a seven. No, let's see how we play this. Um, Merlin is the dealer. Both of you start the game with a hand of one card. The blinking light shows your hand. Okay, so I got a seven. The steady light shows Merlin's hand, and he got a one. Okay? On your turn, you may either hit your uh, your hand or stand. All right, so I got a seven. Hit. All right, so down here, see it says hit. So we got a seven and a four. Okay, that is eleven. Yes, yeah, so we probably want to stay here. Mhm. Mm right. So if we want to stay. Guessing hit Merlin, but no, maybe not. Yes, yeah, stand. Press Merlin. He got a 9 and a 1, so he got a 10. So we got an 11, so we I think we won that game, right? Yeah. Or is Merlin going to go again, let's say? No, that's it. So we won. That's yeah. cool. Again, folks, we're just playing this for the first time uh, going through the game, so we're a little rusty, but we're just giving you a quick overview of each game. So that is Blackjack 13. What else we got? Um, Magic, Magic Square. Square. To form a square of eight lights by lighting, but buttons one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. At the same time, you will have to turn off button number five, the middle button. So I guess you got to form a square. Press new game. Press five. New game. Five. Uh, you gotta make a square. It's kind of like a puzzle. And five has to stay out. Okay, we got the five out. You gotta get it so that these all light up in the yeah. middle one. It's kind of like a puzzle. So close. Hmm, it's tricky. I did it. That was lock on cam. Yeah. It's, and there you go. There you have it. It's, game, it's called Magic Square, and again, it's there's different difficulty levels, and I'm not doing it, you know, much justice. But once you start playing it, it's it's simple fun. It's 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 pretty good. It's a weird shape thing. It actually looks like a phone, like an old cordless phone. Mm. But but anyways, that's Magic Square. Mind and then there's a game Mind Bender. I never played that before, but I think we'll just skip that now. But there you, there you have it, folks. Um, again. I have the instruction, and I got the box. Got a great deal on this on eBay. It's very rare that you get all three things together and in good condition. It takes two batteries, I believe two AA or AAA batteries. And there's the battery compartment. And you'll see it says uh, Merlin by Parker Brothers, 1978. And it lists the games on the back, so you know how which numbers to hit to get to the game. Well, there you have it. Um, that is Merlin by Parker Brothers, a handheld game that came out in 1978. Um, thanks for watching Retro Gaming Corner. Please vote, subscribe, and comment on our channel. And until next week, thanks for watching.